Okay. Uh, first of all, thanks for uh, uh, accepting to do this small interview. And um, well, we we will uh, start with a question about the past. Um, yesterday at the reception, you said you have been working with Smalltalk for a long time, um, and probably you you also uh, yes I have. Smalltalk. So back then, surely you had expectations on a small talk future. Some of them failed, some of them succeeded. But based on that experience, how, how do you evaluate current situation of small talk? Well, I, I go back to 1984. When did you start, John? Uh, I started in um, 1988. Wow, so we have almost half a century. Um, so. I would say in the early days of small talk, honestly, it was a new piece of technology and we didn't really know where it was going to find a home. And uh, its first foray was as an artificial intelligence language. And then it became much more mainstream and IBM eventually got involved and Part Place and other companies, Digitalk, um, I was part of Digitalk for a while. I think. We saw Smalltalk evolve into a language that was and is still used by some of the largest companies in the world um, for very business critical applications. It's also used in open source by individual people that are just interested and in students. So it has a wide range of application that it's found. I think. To be honest about small talk, we'd have to say, well, we, we saw the rise of small talk, and then Java came, and uh, it impacted small talk quite heavily. I think what we're seeing now is a resurgence in small talk, interest in small talk, and also interest in dynamic languages like small talk, like Ruby and others. Um, so we had high expectations. We went, uh, you know, we went way up in terms of users and popularity, tapered off. And I think now, from our business, what we're seeing is essentially small talk is having a resurgence. John, did you, did you have a comment? Yeah, I, uh, I would say the same thing. You know, I started um, working with small talk at, I, at IBM. And um, we had uh, we had great plans for small talk, and it was a, a strategic uh, development environment for IBM. Um, but um, Java um, came around, and Java had some attributes that IBM felt were um, more appropriate to their marketplace, and so the uh, you know the the marketing, sales, and, and development activities on Smalltalk dropped off at IBM gradually uh, because we had many major, major customers, uh, huge applications, uh, enterprise critical applications, um, you know, until um, the time when I left IBM and went to work for Instantiations. Uh, and now uh, I agree with Mike, we are seeing the small talk marketplace grow again because um, there's there's companies who are who are successfully marketing uh, what is uh, really premier technology. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I have to say, in, at Instantiations, we've seen five years of steady growth in our small talk business, and that's in the face of some very serious economic downturn. Even during those downturns, we saw small talk growing, not tripling or anything like that, but steady growth. And to us, that's a good sign. And our focus now at Instantiations is on the future. And our, our goal is to, I guess I'll use the term reinvigorate even more um, small talk and make it more successful because we see every day in our customer base the power that it has and the productivity that it delivers so okay thank you um um you said that uh, in the reception speech uh, you know about 
reveal quite in its limitations. Um, could you extend a little bit about that? Um, sure. Um, yeah, Google, I, I can't disclose any terms or anything, but instantiations had uh, essentially two main business areas for the last 10 years, Smalltalk and Java. And in our Java business, which was quite successful, we, we created a product about four years ago called GWT Designer. GWT is Google's Google Web Toolkit technology for building Ajax applications. And our product took the GWT widgets and put them into a user interface construction environment that was extremely productive. And Google loved that. <laughs> and so for uh, about four years, we had a, an informal partnership with the group at Google that does GWT. They call it GWT. And I th I'm trying to think. At the beginning of this year, Google approached us and asked us if we'd be interested in working more closely with them. And uh, as we thought about our future, we have the two parts of our business, Smalltalk and Java. There's really no better future for our Java product line than, than as part of Google. It's, perfect, it's a perfect match. The products are good, the technology's good, the people, um, our people, and their people are all very excited about it. So Google, um, I believe it was on August 4th, the, the deal closed, they acquired all of the Java assets and people and technology of instantiations. And just simultaneously, instantiations was, the small talk company was spun out and reformed as a separate entity. And so all the small talk people and products and technology are now in the, what is essentially the third incarnation of instantiations and our focus is completely on small talk and the Java people are they're all now moved over to Google um, and they're working there on the next generation of Google development tools and in the small talk uh, the new small talk instantiations small talk focused instantiations were are we're very committed to VA Smalltalk, modernizing it, moving it forward, taking care of our current customers, but we also want to add more customers. And one of the things John and I both commented, this conference, ESUG, the energy here is wonderful. And there's students and professors and industry and the, the just the energy here and the sharing of information is, it's just, it's great. <laughs> We're really enjoying the conference and it's just, it's because all these people have gathered around something that they have, a, a, a passion they have in common, that being small talk. So I'll shut up, John. You, <laughs> comments? Uh, you want to say anything about well, the Google deal? Well, no, I don't want to say anything about the Google deal except that uh, now I get your full attention, so that's, uh, that's good. That's goodness. You're I know. Not, uh, I, I, you're not I, split anymore. I, I tease John though, and that could be a mixed blessing, you yeah. know. <laughs> but um, you know, I'll 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 reiterate a little bit uh, what Mike <clears throat> said because this is, um, I guess, the um, the fourth uh, ESOG I've been to, and this is like a wonderful week for me to to interact with the students and professors and some of the independent consultants and see the exciting things that they're developing or, or thinking about in small talk and uh, you know it's just it's just a, a very wonderful uh, atmosphere what what do you think are the reasons well the deep reasons of this small talk renaissance the resurgence. You talked about that just a few minutes uh, ago, but perhaps I don't know. You could could elaborate a little bit more. 
I think it's a combination. I mean, by now, Java, Java was the new thing. And so it was exciting because it was new. And by now, Java has matured. It's very, it's good and it's solid and millions of people use it. But it's not the new exciting technology anymore. So that aspect of um, it competing with Smalltalk is sort of over because now Java is mature just like Smalltalk is mature. And when you look at the applications that people are trying to build, languages like Smalltalk in particular, dynamic languages like Smalltalk and Ruby have some pretty interesting advantages. So I think part of it is that. But I also think this resurgence, a lot of it has to do with, I don't know, this resurgence of energy around small talk. And a lot of that, I think, is focused here in Europe, honestly. From what we see, there's a level of excitement here that we hope, we, John and I talked about this, we hope that we can take some of this back to North America and recreate it because it's really positive and I think that's a big part of it. Yeah, uh, I can't help but agree with that. You know, the the conference that you put on here, the people that, that are brought together who are excited about small talk and see other excited people and take that energy back with them when the conference is over, it can't help but, but spread throughout the, the community of people they work with, uh, just as it, it reinvigorates us for the next year. And uh, as Mike said, we've talked about, um, about the possibility of trying to figure out some way to do this same thing in North America, because there is, there is absolutely nothing like this uh, going on in our country. And uh, we would love to see something like this to uh, you know, kind of bring small talk to the forefront in North America, not just in, well, South America and Europe. So we think we'd like to import Stefan and you and Nori um, and bring you over to sort of get the fire started. <laughs> Thank you. So um, you partially, partially answered uh, this question uh, before, but just let me make it explicit and instantiations. Where, where, where is it headed? I mean, what, what is the vision now? The vision, I, I'd say, I'll, I'll, I'll speak from a business perspective and you can maybe talk more technical mm -hmm. if, if you want, but from a business perspective, we're focused on small talk now. We've always been passionate about small talk, but uh, there were a, a period of, of years there where we did a lot of work in Java. Now we're refocused on small talk and I think from our perspective, from our business perspective, we want to see, we want to grow this business. We want to have, uh, we want to build more technology. John can talk more about that. And we want to sort of continue but expand the realization of what small talk could be. We want to bring its power to a lot of people that we know could use it. <laughs> yeah, from from a technology standpoint, um, you know, we've we've always been uh, a strong provider across many many different uh, operating system platforms. But our primary focus has been Windows um, as a client uh, and uh, Linux uh, and other um, Unix operating systems as servers. Uh, we get uh, we get some strong feedback that uh, people would like to see Linux as a client also uh, have that uh, environment improved, and we're we're definitely working in that direction. And I I will be talking about that a bit at the conference. Um, but um, you know we see that um, you know uh, over time uh, some things have gotten a little behind the time, and we're now. With the with the the total focus of the company on small talk, 
Uh, we're going to be focused more on bringing things up to date in terms of, of their appearance and their functionality. Fantastic. So, um, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been an honor to talk to you. And enjoy enjoy the conference. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very Thanks much. for asking us. We are enjoying the conference very yeah, much. Absolutely. <laughs>